So next up we've got The Dungeon in San Francisco. Um, now The Dungeon is a sort of like a private invite only type gym. Um, I had seen it online and wasn't too sure where I was going to reach out to him, but luckily I met a guy in um, Sacramento, Untamed Strength, who knew the owner, put me in contact. Um, the owner, Joe Shelley, was, was happy for me to come along and train, which was great. Um, it was quite cool. I felt like it was like I was stood on the street in some shady area of San Francisco waiting for a dude to turn up and let me in down sort of some like alley underneath the, the, the shops on the, the main road um, into like a completely blacked out gym. Um, hardly any colour in there, black walls, black ceiling, um, black racks. Um, it was real grungy feel, uh, definitely lived up to his name. Um, I had a really good workout. Um, if you'd seen my last videos, you'd know that after a couple of days of strongman stuff over at Untamed Strength I was sort of ready just to do some more basic barbell training uh, and that's exactly what I did um, but I'm going to cut around the gym now and show you what it's all about get to the training and then we'll uh, catch up at the end so as you walk in, um, that's sort of one of the logos on the wall, um, loads of really good quality racks, plenty of accessories and things on the racks, that's probably the only colour there on those plates. Um, this dog couldn't make its mind up whether it liked me or not all session, um, so looping around a few benches, um, some bits of, of sort of accessory kit and things like that, a few bits of strongman moving, event, uh, moving equipment, um, big old dumbbell rack. Um, and then reverse hyper, which I'm always happy to see one of those. It's like therapy to my back. Uh, now into workout. So uh, the three main lifts were all done six sets, six reps, sets across the same weight for everything, uh, for each set of, of the exercise. So 170 kilos, 375 pounds on squats. The first two sets are sped up, and I'm gonna show you the last set in real time. Um, I'm pretty happy with how these went. Um, they, the first four, maybe five reps are pretty smooth. The last rep, sometimes the last second, last two reps, maybe on the later sets, were a bit of a grind, but yeah, not too difficult. It's not like a six rep max or anything, so it was good to put some volume in on, on the squat. Um, yeah, not much else to say. It was just a, a fairly challenging weight, but not absolutely maximum. Um, and yeah, I think I'm, I'm getting my squat technique a little bit better. Um, all probably down to the 20 rep sets if I'm honest because the weight was at a level where I could really focus on, on keeping sharp and crisp. Um, I think it's yeah, tip over a little bit on that last rep but other than that it's all good. Second exercise, six sets, six reps again. Um, push press, 102 kilos, 225 pounds. Um, did lose my balance on that last rep there but um, went pretty well. This last set in real time you'll see the bar moves really nicely, really quickly. Um, yeah, I'm using a lot of leg drive, but it's pretty pretty good. I do hyper extend quite a bit, which I need to, to watch that because I don't want to put too much pressure on my lower back. Um, but I'm not feeling any pain, so it's all good. And then the, so I've done like a squat, a press, now a hinge. Um, and yeah, Romanian deadlifts, nothing too heavy, 150 kilos, six sets, six reps again. Um, I didn't stand on a plate to get the stretch like I normally do, but what I did, you might be able to see here, I'm not quite snatch grip, but I am quite wide grip, so with my arms being further out, I can sort of drop the bar a bit lower than usual, um, just to get that enough of a stretch in the hams and glutes, um, without the bar sort of banging on the floor. Um, so yeah. It was quite good. They were quite tough actually after the squats and even, even the overhead press still takes it out of your core. Um, so that was a free main movement and then I finished off with, I didn't have much time. Um, I was parked on the street, a bit of a shady area, plus I didn't want to get towed away. Uh, that would have been the last thing I wanted. So it was four exercises, sets of eight, um, and I just kept going and going and going around the mall. Guess how many sets I did? I'm sure you can work out by now, six. Um, it was just like an inclined dumbbell press like a, a row, more of just pumping my upper back. I think everybody, even strength athletes, should train your back like a bodybuilder. Uh, obviously your erectors, your lower back and things like that, it's different, but in terms of your upper back, getting a nice chunky upper back always helps, especially for strong man. Um, goblet squats, I should have got heavy dumbbell. Um, it's ridiculous, it's really light, but anyway. So it was press, row, goblet squat, and then my favorite, reverse hyper. Um, yeah, just makes my back feel brand new again. 
Um, and that was it. So three main movements, six by six, and it's six sets of, of eight reps, just fast paced, sort of circuit fashion, uh, on some more accessories, sort of supplementary movements. Um, really good workout. I'm probably gonna do a very similar structured workout um, at the next gym, um, again, but probably change it up so the heavier movement will be the hinge, so I'll probably do a regular barbell deadlift um, and then the sort of squat movement, or maybe front squat's a bit lighter. Press, I might even do some bench, since I haven't done it for a while properly. Um, but yeah, that workout was great. Uh, the gym was really cool, good environment. A couple of guys in there I was chatting to, uh, which nice, friendly dudes, both in powerlifters. Um, even a British guy in there, so it's always nice to hear a, a friendly voice. Um, but yeah, I had good fun. Definitely lives up to its name as a gym, um, as I said before. Um, and I'm feeling beat now. I'm on my way to Vegas, um, so I've just stopped off mid-journey. Um, I'm not sure what gym I'm gonna train at there. I still need to look into that. Um, but yeah, definitely gonna take in a bit of the Vegas culture. Um, but hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, next one coming in a few days. Cheers.